G'day guys, Hayden VK7HH here again for Ham Radio DX and I just wanted to share a project that I've uh, just been working on. Uh, this here is a Whisper uh, transmitter board. Uh, this comes from a company called Zactech, uh, zactech.com. Uh, they have uh, these Whisper boards which uh, operate uh, from 136 kilohertz, I think, all the way up to 70 megahertz. Uh, this Whisper transmitter is their experimenter board. It's a uh, just trying to bring it up on the laptop at the same time. A Whisper LP1. Uh, there is a desktop version which is in a nice box um, that uh, you can purchase, but uh, this uh, one I purchased because I was going to use it for a specific project, and I'll explain what that is in a minute. Yeah, one any ha works on any ham band from 136 kilohertz to 70 megahertz. So uh, this board I've got uh, connected up at the moment, and we can see the configuration page there. There's uh, a GPS um, on board, which you get provided a GPS antenna. You can see the quality there, 60, 60 percent, which is pretty good considering it's just sitting in the uh, in the window and you can see all of the various bands that are listed there now this board will do about 200 milliwatts out I believe on almost all the HF bands I think by the time it gets up to 6 meters it starts to drop off a little bit the power is usually about uh, I think about 70 or 80 milliwatts however I'm measuring slightly higher than that and I'll show you that in a moment you can also click uh, auto GPS positioning so uh, you can actually use this while mobile or moving around and it will automatically update your grid square uh, as you transmit on whisper so you can see I've manually put in my grid square there um, reported power and there's also a small signal generator in this unit as well which is also handy so you can see I've currently got it uh, set up as a whisper beacon it's just um, idle at the moment now this uh, unit you can see here has position for a low pass filter which is essential um, if you're running this um, a standalone. The desktop version I, I believe has that uh, in it but uh, for the experimenter board uh, I don't have that and for good reason as well. So what I've actually got here this is a uh, you may have seen from my previous videos uh, a repair on a uh, KL 450 repeater. Well this is a 70 meg version and I've modified the PA down to 6 meters so this will actually do 50 watts on 6 meters and as part of that it's actually got a low pass filter um, on the uh, the PA output so I don't require the low pass filter here. So uh, what I'm going to do is switch this uh, on it's uh, currently connected to my test set uh, tracking generator and we'll measure the output power might take a little while before it uh, starts starts up on the next cycle. So uh, yeah, GPS also takes care of the timing. You can see there that the GPS time is updating in the software, and uh, you can run this uh, standalone uh, while that's uh, doing that. This is the uh, description of the page. I'll put the link in the description anyway of the video. But here's some uh, key features. Um, don't require any uh, PC. You can work it standalone. Works on any ham band from 136 kilohertz to 70 megs. Uh, 5 volts, you can build a uh, low pass filter that's required for whatever bands you like. Has the GPS and uh, Arduino. Um, it's uh, designed to be easy to use and uh, powered over USB. So uh, once it's uh, also been installed and ready, you don't need uh, any more uh, installation. There's some more specs there as well, so uh, and the theory of operation. Very good little board. Uh, the uh, developer, um, Harry. He uh, replies very quickly by email and uh, this arrived very quickly too when I ordered it. So uh, well worth looking at this if you want a small little whisper transmitter. Um, it's also got a TCXO, a 2.5 parts per million TCXO, which should be stable enough for us on 6 metres. While it's transmitting it actually, uh, during each new sequence it will randomise uh, where it transmits in the band to avoid transmitting over the top of any, anyone as well. So it should start transmitting shortly. And there it is. I'll just turn it on so we can listen to it. And there it is. So you can see there that the transmit power that I'm getting out of this is, is 227 milliwatts, which is much higher than what I expected and what the uh, the specs 
said there would be there too. So I'm quite happy with that. It's actually perfect because this PA uh, is driven when it's used as a repeater by 200 milliwatts. So it's almost perfect. We can see our TX frequency there too. It's probably not exact. I'm uh, not GPS locked on this test set. It's within the pass band anyway. So that'll transmit anyway for another uh, another couple of minutes. I'll um, pause the video now and then I'll hook it up to the PA and you can see it uh, doing 50 watts which is uh, makes a quite, quite a nice neat little uh, transmit us. Okay so I've got it hooked up to the uh, the PA now. Um, one thing that I was going to show is the GPS. It's just a small little GPS mouse uh, that's just uh, sitting in the in the window sill at the moment so it's uh, doing pretty good actually. It's got about 50 to 60 percent GPS quality. Coming out of the output just goes basically straight into this driver. This driver produces I think about five watts, five to eight watts and then uh, uh, through the PA for, uh, for 50 got a short um, lead here this uh, keys the PA on so it just pulls that low uh, the uh, expansion board here has a transmit enabled pin which goes to 3.3 volts uh, when it's transmitting so all that is is just a 10k resistor with an inverter BC547 to pull that to ground to uh, to tell that that uh, it's transmitting what we'll do is uh, set this to start and this will start transmitting in the next um, uh, few minutes. I think I've got it set up so that it'll do uh, it will do about 15 watts. Uh, this this pot here adjusts to to 50, so I can adjust it if I re require uh, some some more power. Wait for that to fire up another 30 seconds or so. So uh, yeah, Zactech, a uh, good little board. Make sure that you check uh, check out the website. As I said, I'll put it in the description and uh, makes a nice neat little whisper transmitter even for the lower bands too I mean 160 meters these things are I think $79 US so very cheap and uh, you could uh, get on whisper on 160 meters with uh, a small amount of power okay we're about to transmit now and I've got it set for 41 watts so I won't adjust it from there so uh, there we go that's um, a nice uh, whisper transmitter so uh, yeah not a bad, uh, neat little solution.